Nice. G'day, it's Mark here from Vanessa Mobile Camping with Harley Ingleby. Nice, welcome to the uh, Combi Life Factory here. Yeah, mate, thanks for having me. Uh, not at all. Harley, tell us a little bit about yourself. You uh, you live up the coast? Yeah, I'm up from, oh, I've driven down this morning from Emerald Beach, which is on the northern part of the Coffs Harbour coast, Coffs Coast. And um, yeah, I'm a professional longboarder, work and uh, been a team ride with GoPro for a long time. And, Fantastic. And uh, I've heard you've uh, gained a couple of titles longboarding. Yeah, yeah. Um, what, did, what did you gain? Did yeah, you have... two world longboard titles. Oh, wow. Two world longboard titles. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. And uh, you've ended up uh, doing a bit of work with GoPro as well. Yeah. And uh, and, and you're also involved in the in the surf industry still today, aren't you? I am, yeah. yeah. What do you do there? Um, I have uh, some production longboards. I've been working with the Japanese company uh, Thunderbolt Technologies and uh, with uh, my long time, long time shaper, Billy Tollhurst. And uh, yeah, so I spent a long, long, a lot of time working on those boards and uh, working with our distributors all around the world. Fantastic. And today you brought in, uh, new to you, this T6 yep. full motion long wheel base, and we're going to have some fun fitting that out today. But uh, tell me a little bit more about the van. Uh, what, what, what have we done to it so far? Mate, we haven't done anything. I've just got a blank van here, and um, yeah, it's just been carting around my long boards for the last month or so. And yeah, I've seen your incredible uh, camper conversions, and I'm, I'm super keen. We've got a lot of good camping spots up home and um, yeah, you know, so I think it'll be good motivation to utilise this long wheelbase full motion. And, yeah, so this should be able to get you out onto the beach nice and early, yep. wake up with, uh, with, the, uh, with the crack of dawn and uh, get, those, uh, get those best breaks. Definitely. Fantastic. Yeah. Well let's do it. Let's go and get this uh, kitchen system in and we'll, actually today we'll have a look at how we actually uh, fit the Vanessa mobile camping kitchen to a transporter van. Let's, let's do it. Right on. Let's do it. Okay, so first of all, we're going to put in our mounting bar. So we've taken out the existing tie down points in the transporter van. So we've already undone those with the supplied Allen key. And we're just gonna line up, line up our mounting bar so that we can fix the kitchen into the system and grab two longer bolts and affix these in. So this uh, quickly gives us the ability to mount our 120.5 centimeter wide Vanessa Mobile Camping Kitchen into the van. All the tools are supplied. So the tool to remove the tie down points is supplied as is the tool to put in the new box. As you'll notice on here, we have uh, some threaded holes already drilled in exactly the correct spot for us to mount the kitchen. Let's go uh, prepare the kitchen for mounting. Okay, to prepare the kitchen for installation into the van, it's a little bit easier to lift it in if we remove some of the drawers. So the drawers just unclip with the orange clips underneath. And in our installation trolley, which is a fantastic uh, addition to the Vanessa system, we've actually got some cubby holes underneath that are perfectly sized for removing the drawers. There are two reasons why we remove the drawers. One, it's just a little bit easier to lift off because it's lighter, despite the fact it's already a very lightweight system. The second reason is, we have better grip, so I can now lift the kitchen here with this grip. Let's now lift it into the, into the vehicle. Okay, we're about to lift the kitchen system in, but Harley could potentially lift here. So before we lift in the kitchen, always remove the water lid. Otherwise, as we grab it, we might, um, we might break it. It's not designed to be a weight. So, lift it up and in. Okay, we've loaded the kitchen in. We just need to locate the holes over the bar. It may need a little bit of toing and froing or lifting just to try and locate the bar for our mounting bolt. So once we've done that, we locate that hole and fix the kitchen down to the mounting bar. Like that. And we do the same on the other side. Now that we've done that, we can put the drawers back in. Let's do that now. So out of the trolley here, we've got the drawers ready to go. Just pull the drawers runners out, lay the drawer on top, slide it in, and verify that it's working well. We'll grab this big drawer here. Again, pull the drawer runners out, pop it on top, and slide it 
slide that in. Let's get these last two. Got our cooker drawer here already populated with our cooker. And the middle drawer. That's in. And the last thing we need to do is pop the water tank lid back on. And that's kitchen is now installed. Now we need to install the sleep system in the transporter. We have got here our support legs for the transporter, our sleep boards and our mattress ready to go in. Let's do it. So step one is to remove Harley's surfboard. So we'll grab the surfboard and set that aside. And we can see on our, on our uh, supports here, we've got V and H, which uh, you'll remember from uh, school German is forward and back, forward on heck. <laughs> so we're gonna put this in here now. They're connected by Velcro. So we have heck, and we're gonna extend the legs. Why do we have these extending legs? The reason we have them is if we already had a seat system in this vehicle, we wouldn't need to extend the legs. We could use the seats as the support. But because we have no seats in this particular vehicle, which is gonna be perfect for surfing, we can now uh, in, use the extended legs to uh, support the bed. So now we're gonna install the sleep boards. We're just gonna walk them in and put them on top of the kitchen. And now <clears throat> with our aluminium supports we can pull our system forward put the aluminium supports in here with H at the back and pull the whole system forward and it will drop in to the lugs at the back of the kitchen Now, for the final piece, fold this over. All right, and the last job we have to do now is to load in the, load in the mattress. We'll just leave a little bit of the plastic on so it doesn't drop onto the floor. Mattress in. Plastic off. Zippers to the front. And the narrow piece at the bottom, I think that is all around the right way. And pull it out, and voila, we have the bed. <laughs>